Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and to all my fellow Canadians, happy Thanksgiving. Today we're going to be taking a really quick look at this phone that I picked up. This is an iPhone 4S running iOS 7.0.4, so pretty much stock iOS 7 that you would find back in late 2013. iOS 7, of course, was a very integral part of Apple's history, being the first version to majorly shake up the general design of iOS. Here you can see it next to my iPhone 4 running iOS 6, and this version definitely looks massively different. It's interesting to use, and is kind of nostalgic as iOS 7 was the first version I used a lot on an iPhone as my first iPhone was the 4 back in 2013. Good old days, am I right? You might think of bad performance when looking back to iOS 7 and for good reason. The iPhone 4 really struggles with it and while this was somewhat fixed with the 7.1 update, I don't think it ever really moved on from its bad reputation. The 4S on the other hand is a different story. It actually runs it really well and although there are flaws, it's not bad by any means. First off, the animations are very slow, which is interesting. Look at this, it's kind of brutal in a way. I'm opening the folder and it takes forever. But even with those slow animations, it's still miles faster than the 4S on iOS 9 and it is pretty smooth. Those slow animations can be easily fixed by jailbreaking and installing a tweak to fix it. Once I do that, this phone just flies. It's actually impressive how well it performs. Also, interestingly, in the first few iterations of iOS 7, the slide to power off switch is a bit different. I honestly like the one we have now better, but it's kind kind of cool to see this because I totally forgot it was ever a thing. Probably the biggest issue with iOS 7 is the lack of app support. Most apps need iOS 9 or better now, which definitely makes this obsolete. But even so, if you're looking to get a 4S, iOS 7 is actually definitely a better option than iOS 9 if you can still find one running it. The performance makes up for the lack of apps in my opinion, I would say it's a decent trade-off. Of course, with iOS 9.3.5 now having a jailbreak, you could always use Cool Booter to dual boot with iOS 7 or an even older version. That way you could have the best of both worlds. If you prefer the design of iOS 7 over 6, this is probably the best version you can run on this 6 year old phone. Playing around with iOS 7, I can definitely tell they wanted to make things look very good, and I think it does. While the animations are slow, they're very smooth and are kind of pleasing to the eyes. Practically speaking though, I don't think it's a very good design choice. There's a few other differences from iOS 11 today. Uh, for example, in the camera app, you notice that the text looks a little bit different. Kind of interesting. Uh, you can see that I'm filming it here when it's videoing and it looks kind of weird, but it's kind of neat. I didn't realize it was ever different. I mean, except for iOS 6 and lower. Jailbreaking this phone is very easy to do and is something I would always recommend on pretty much any version, but especially on iOS 7 due to those slow animations. Download Spring to Mize and boom, everything's so much faster. Also, it's kind of neat just to play around with it as you can see I have Barrel there and with Barrel you can have those crazy transitions when you swipe back and forth. You can actually run Cool Booter on iOS 7 and with that you can actually install any version up to iOS 8.4.1 I believe, which I, I did and uh, that ran fairly well as well, although I think iOS 7 still is a bit faster on the 4S. Animations were quicker on iOS 8 but um, overall I think iOS 7 felt smoother. So that's all I have to say about this phone for now. It looks really good, runs really well, and overall it's a nice throwback to a time long forgotten. I wouldn't recommend buying one, but it still needs to play around with. Sorry for the really short little video, I just felt like showing off this phone because it's not something you see every day. I do have a video coming, hopefully soon, on my iPhone 5 running iOS 6. I lived with it for a week, so there's gonna be a few videos hopefully coming out on that. So make sure you subscribe to see that. Thanks a lot for watching, I really do appreciate it. Please like the video if you found it interesting at all. Follow me at 91.tech on Instagram for neat tech stuff like this, and I will see you all next time.